so wish this video was sponsored by me. Hey all you awesome and blossoming people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama and I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to do the makeup. So now I was getting ready for work and then I thought that a lot of you keep on asking me, ma'am, show us how to do uh, the makeup when we go for the interview, cabin crew interview. Then I have seen my vision students when I went to the university and they have been asked to put some makeup on their face. And they have observed that there are a lot of areas where they need to work on. So I thought let me just and also uh, there are a lot of people like me who go for work every day and who like to put makeup on their face but they don't know how to go about it. So I, I thought let me just film this for you all. So yeah, let's get started. I start off with the hair. Hairstyle would be very simple, very basic. Alright. I wish I can go like this but then it's really hot. I can but then it's really hot outside. So firstly what do you need to do? Comb your hair. Okay, now I'll do a side partition. You can go for a middle partition as well. I'm not making any puff or anything of that sort because uh, then, you know, I'm just trying to keep it as simple, as basic as it could. Alright, now you will look like a champu after this. Oh. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'll take an elastic band and I'll tie my hair. Then what next I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this section of my hair and twist it and make a, like this, a bun. And then I can, then I'll, I'll take some blue pins, jura pins and I'll secure my hair with that simple so now I can see some chotu hair coming out so what can I do I will take the jura net this is how it looks this is my this is very old so I will secure it with that secure my hair from here so that the hair strand doesn't come out because that is very important. You cannot go with eklar idha se, eklar idha se. Alright, so our hair is done. So now talking about the what to wear. So these are the earrings which I'll be wearing. So these are the pearl e earrings. I got these ones for 20 rupees and you can get it from anywhere, like anywhere. You see how elegant it looks. So now we'll start with the foundation. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible. 24H Stay Fresh Foundation. Uh, you can be this one is a bit on the expensive side. I think it's, this will cost you around uh, 1000, 1100 or 1200 rupees, Indian rupees, INR. So I will just dab it all over my face. So now, what my motive is, what I want from this is to have even skin even skin tone instead of using the this you can go for Maybelline fit me cost you somewhere around uh, 400 to 500 which is pocket again pocket friendly I'm not using the beauty sponge right now and I'm using my fingers and uh, that is the best way to blend any product on your face so yeah now another one more thing uh, is this the nose pen so now whenever you go for an interview or you are a aviation student um, I would highly recommend and I request you guys not to wear any sort of uh, accessory over here whether it's a nose pin or nose ring just avoid all of that because that's not how it's supposed to be now I'm going to use this it is okay this it's like okay it's fit me by Maybelline so I will be using this uh, compact powder to set my base, my foundation. I'm just simply going to dab it. Don't rub it. No product is supposed to rub it on your face. Otherwise, it will not be there on your face. So don't rub it. Always dab it on your face gently. It's your face, your own skin. Please treat it nicely. Alright. So, very important not to forget 
forget the neck now another thing i want to talk about is choosing choosing the right shade for your skin right foundation shade uh, or compact powder see what happens that when you go to uh, to buy the foundation you generally people they go for a shade lighter don't do that it looks really bad so now what you can do when you go over there ask them to apply the foundation over here because a lot of times what they do they apply it here so it it's it doesn't match the skin color is different it will be just slightly different and that slight difference may will make a lot of difference and your skin will look horrible and then the makeup will look horrible so make sure you apply it here apply it a very little amount of the foundation blend it and see if it matches your skin color it should not be lighter than your skin it should not be darker than your skin it should be exactly your skin color that's what i do so you know there are some foundation which oxidize with time so that you need to read about but generally most of the foundation it's okay uh, it's best if you go for the exact shade and you i've seen people being obsessed with brighter complexion white skin get over it that's all i want to say now um i have to apply something here because my face is looking washed out it's so white it's looking washed out so i have to put some color on in my skin so that it looks nice and fresh so i will take this uh, blush it's again by maybelline i will find mostly products which i have are from maybelline because it's a drugstore brand it's cheap it's affordable and the products are really nice so i always recommend if someone who has just started putting makeup or just enter the world of makeup i always recommend to go for maybelline so this is the blush i'll take this and i apply this on my lids as an eye shadow So now this is done. I will put some under the eyes. One time everybody is ready to go for work. That's why you can hear so much of noise, traffic. That's how it is. So now I will use the same blush for my cheeks. Some product you can put it here, a little bit over here, whatever is left. On the brush just applied everywhere else so now we have some color on our face and which looks nice now it's time for eyeliner so I will be using this this is by L'Oreal you can go for the Maybelline one as well I will leave the link in the description box of all the products so you can where you can find this online so you can buy one for yourself if you don't have it so you can use either one of these L'Oreal or Maybelline both has really good gel liners. Now I will line my eyes. I will go for the classic wing liner. Alright, this eye is done. Let's do the other eye. Alright, so the liner is done. Now we'll put some mascara. Very important. Again, Maybelline. I so wish this video was sponsored by Maybelline. I just love Maybelline for its, especially for its mascaras. You can just pick any and then you won't be disappointed. Mascara, again, it's very important. A lot of girls, they forget to apply or they don't apply, they don't like to apply. But I would say that you can skip the liner, but mascara is a must. Alright, so mascara is done. And I just love how it looks. I just love, I just love mascara. Favorite product is mascara. Now I will do my eyebrows. Again, Maybelline product. I have finished with this one. I got another one. Yeah, I have the new one. So I'll be using this one. Eyebrows again very important because when you apply the foundation, you apply the foundation all over your face. It's not like that you will leave the eyebrows. Of course, you, some foundation will go over here as well. And then your eyebrows will look lighter. The shade will be lighter because there is a product on your this. So now what will I do? I will use an eyeshadow product to make it look 
better or the way it was or fuller in this product is really simple to use you just have to fill it see how i am doing it i'm like i think yes, a beginner will do better than me and then on the other side this was the coal and then on the other side you have the powder product just go over it and sort of like you are blending it you like the harsh edges you making sure it's not there another thing i want to emphasize on is blending so now we do the makeup we put the product on our face but we forget to blend you need to blend your makeup nicely so that it look blended it looks that it's part of your skin so make sure you spend that extra minute in blending your makeup and yeah and the last thing which i'm going to use is yeah we are on the last step yay is the lipstick now a lot of time people ask me which shade are you wearing so i'm always confused to tell them because i never wear, wear a single shade i always mix my lipstick that's how i like it so i'm using this shade by kiko milano so this is a nice bright pink color so i what i am going to do i'm just going to dab it like so i feel it's too pink so now i'm going to use this one it's by maybelline it's a nice new shade so i'm just going to dab it on top of this again very important when you go for work you cannot wear dark colors especially during the day time you can of course it's up to you you can go for the dark shade but then i would suggest that uh, go for um, nice coral shade nudes or pinky shades you know whatever you like whatever you feel comfortable in and wear shades which complements your skin color your complexion so make sure you keep that thing in mind and the last thing is the watch very important you cannot have your phone all the time to check the time so make sure you have a nice watch wear a watch when you go for work or for interview and one more thing the nail polish so a lot of time people are like what nail polish to wear so i have this one okay don't go by the bottle it's uh this is the shade what you can see right now can you see it okay this is a nail polish by opi so now it's a nice oops, it's pearl white shade classic it goes with every color every outfit it looks really nice so if you are confused you don't know which shade so if you are confused and you don't know which shade to go for when it comes to your nails so you can go for this one it looks really nice uh this one is bit on the expensive side but you will find the shade in other brands as well like Maybelline and Lakme again i will leave the link in the description box so make sure you check it out and yeah that's all for today i hope you find this video helpful if you do make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified next time i upload a video and yeah that's all for today i hope to see you until next time take care